Boosie's girlfriend going to the gym. What y'all got going on today? It's been gloomy in Atlanta. Yesterday was the first day that we seen sunlight, and now, baby, it is black. Yeah, I said black. It is black gloomy. Atlanta don't know what the to do. It's bipolar as weather. Is it spring yet? Cause we lose an hour, what, on Sunday, right? Is it? Yeah. I'm about to go take a shower. What are y'all doing today? I'm about to go take a shower. Put some clothes on. Go to the mall. And then I'll probably come back home, chill, watch TV, and smoke. It's nothing more that I want to do today. I did. I put that work in. As y'all can see. Oh, it's blurry. I know y'all see it. Even when I stand up like this, I'm pushing P. Pushing P, pushing P. Even this way, stand up straight. I'm pushing P, pushing P. And even this way, pushing P. Ooh, them knees crack. I need some calcium. I need some calcium real bad. That's how you know I'm again. Oh, talk about 29 where? Baby, it's in my knees. Thank you, girl. Did I get my body done? So I've had lipo 360 um, three years ago. I had it three years ago in Cali, Columbia. And I had my implants removed, but that's it. Everybody always like to say, you had a BBL, you had a BBL, but no. So. I said, I'm gonna ask y'all a question today. And my question was, for my live ended, have y'all ever been madly or stupidly in love with somebody that you tattooed their name on you? Do you regret it? Do you accept it? And if you are with that person or not with that person, would you do it again? I wanna know. Have y'all ever been madly in love with somebody and got their name tatted on you? Never. Somebody said never. Nah. Regret it and got it covered. Never again. I got my baby daddy tatted. I regret it. I would not do it again. Never. Um. Down the live and never. Ooh, not your ex name on your neck big. I would never, I need to cover real bad. Let them regret do I agree to tell it again. Ooh, y'all in my business. Well, I'm very transparent with y'all, and I'm gonna tell y'all, I did. Madly, stupidly in love. And will I do it again for whoever? Yes, I will. I don't care. Yes, I will. But my tattoos are very small. They're not big. Only tattoos you really see on me is the one on my hip. And um, I don't have no like really noticeable tattoos, but I did get a name and it's still there. Um, it's very small and I will do it again. I know, call me crazy, but oh well, I'm an Aries. I do things like that sometimes. Yeah, I don't regret it. <laughs> it is what it is. I live in my, I, I live in the moment. So if I'm happy and madly stupid in love, oh well. Oh well. Oh fucking well. Yeah, I'm probably the only person in the world who go to the gym without a bra on. Yeah, I do do that all the time. I only have one. <laughs> um, 
Like I said, my tattoo is very small. You can't you can't see it unless I show it to you. You wouldn't even know that it's there. No, not even that. I just don't regret it because, like I said, I live in a moment. Whatever I felt is what I felt, and I stand in my truth. I told you I'm an Aries, so whatever I decide to do, I do, and I'm very spontaneous, so I do things like that. Thank you. Oh, y'all, I really hate stretching. I say this all the time. No, I don't regret it. You can send beats to the email in my bio. You know, to be honest with y'all, like I say, some things you're going to like that I do, some things you're not going to like that I do. And it's not that I don't care. It's just that everybody is titled to their own opinion. And I don't have a problem with that. It's life. It's going to be some things that I come out with that you're going to like. It's some things that, I come, that I'm going to come out with that you're not going to like. Some things that I'm going to come out with you're going to be like, oh, okay. I kind of feel it. And then, you know, it just is what it is. You're not going to like everything a person puts out. And with my craft, I'm only gonna get better and better. So it's cool. It's fine. Thank y'all for your opinions. I have matching tattoos with all my family members. Yeah, it's definitely my alternate ego, Ray Jail. Anybody that really knows me knows Ray Jail. Like, y'all know that I'm very calm, humble. I go to church every Sunday. And my alternate ego has nothing to do with my day to day lifestyle. Like, and that's for people who have been following me from since the beginning. Like, y'all know me. So, to see that side of me is different, and it's fine. Yes, a jack of all trades, period. I like to adventure off and try new things. Um, even though I'm about to be 29, there's still things that I'm still finding out about myself, that I'm learning about myself, things that I like, things that I don't like. And it's all a part of life. Like, you don't have to have everything together. You don't have to have, your life doesn't have to be perfect. Um, like I said, I'm living and I'm learning. I'm figuring out everything that I like and everything that I don't like. And who's to put a time on your life, on your life, on what you should have together and what you should not have together? Be for real. Yes, I'm about to be 29 in about three weeks. So, like I said, I'm still learning, still growing. Some of y'all that know me, y'all know I still don't got no churn yet. <laughs> I still don't have no kids. I can't believe, y'all, I made it throughout my whole 20s. Can y'all believe it? I made it throughout my whole 20s without a kid. Honestly, I'm proud of myself. Not down to anybody that had kids in their 20s. I am proud of myself because I've got to live out my 20s. I've got to do everything that I wanted to do. I've traveled and done a lot of things. Now my 30s, that's going to be a different lifestyle for me. I feel like I, at that time, I do want to have kids and I want to make memories with my child and just do family things. Like my 30s is gonna be a different lifestyle for me. So I'm excited about that. But um, are you on birth control? Nope, I'm not. I am not. <sighs> thank you. But yeah, I honestly can say, I just thank God every day that I've been able to live my life. Um, it's nothing in my life that I wouldn't change. Everything is everything. Um, it's not perfect, but I feel like the life that God gave me, I'm very appreciative of, and I'm happy about that. But anyways, like I said, I'm still very proud of myself for not having no kids throughout my 20s, because girl, I, I think that um, it probably would have slowed me a little bit down 
And I like, I'm, I'm a very spontaneous and adventurous type of person. So now that I've gotten to experience things, I, my next level in my 30s will be to experience things with my kid. Cause listen y'all, I have never been to Disney World before and I wanna go so bad, but I wanna go with my kid. Like I don't wanna go to Disney World and be like, going with my friends or something like that. I wanna definitely experience going to Disney World with my child. Okay y'all, so that was Boosie's girlfriend. She's going to the gym and working on her body. And uh, she's a beautiful woman, as you can see. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, and watch next videos. I got for y'all.